I was literally sitting here wondering if we have done yes and no for Swedish word. Mm, okay, let's do it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish words of the day is yes and no. And that is just ja, nej. Ja, nej. Maybe is kanske. Kanske. So now you have all of that, let's hop into my favorites and disappointments. I don't know how long this video will be because, um, yeah, I have some stuff to talk about. But maybe, 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 maybe I will put in some favorite channels and some favorites um, on like Netflix because maybe that would be fun. I don't know. Do you think that that is fun? Let me know because I maybe want to put, put it in there. Anyway. Let's hop into my... Let's start off with my favorites as usual. So I'm gonna start off with some boring products. I have Siggy here because I'm actually watching another dog, Elof. Come on, Elof. Hey, Kilen. Come. Oh, he's a little bit bigger than Siggy. Hey. His owner is in Spain and he is... Oh, Oh, he um, he sheds a lot. So all of my clothes is light. I don't know if you were subscribed to me last year when we watched um, another dog called Ella. And Sigge, he was just like all over her. He wanted to be with her all the time. And he was just kind of <laughs> when he couldn't be with her. He's the same now. He was just like the, the worst dog ever. I'm gonna put on my, my fan because it's really hot in here. So I do apologize for that. But he was just like the worst dog ever. And I thought that that was because she was a girl. He's the same with Elof. So that has made me realize that I'm never getting another dog. Because Sege, he's like the, he's a one child baby. Anyway, let's hop into some um, products that I've been loving. So sorry, it's a little bit crazy here, but I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you do, I try to show you guys all of the PR that I've gotten and so on. And it's not a lot because this is like the first month I've gotten some PR, but some of the products I've actually really been enjoying. So I wanted to talk about some products from the Swedish brand called Kix. Um, I think that if, I don't know if it's a Swedish brand, but it's like a Norwegian brand. Scandinavian brand. So I think that you can purchase from them if you live in Norway, Finland, maybe even Denmark, and then also Sweden. So if you are from the Nordics, then you can. So I just wanted to talk about these lip liners. Now I haven't tried all of them, but this one in particular, I've been loving. You guys know I love my little pink one. And uh, this is the one I'm wearing today. This is in the shade Bare Beauty. Go to my highlights on my Instagram. I do have swatches of these if you wanna go ahead and check it out. But these are just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And they are so creamy that you could use them alone as just like lip gloss, lipstick, I mean. Incredible, um, really, really been loving them. And then also this dewy setting spray. This, to me, it's like magic in a bottle, but it's also a little bit of a negative with this, which I'm gonna talk about. See, yeah. Yeah, that. So usually with setting sprays, I cannot really tell if it's gonna make a difference or not. I cannot say if my makeup holds up much. Sigge. Sigge, he wants to play all the freaking time. And he wants to play with Elof all the time, but Elof doesn't want to play with him. <coughs> so he just stares at him and then he goes like this. And then he goes up to Elof and sits in his face and it's like, Aah! and he, no. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, what I was saying with setting spray is that I can, I can usually not, just like that. Usually with setting sprays, I can't really tell if they are good or not, or if they are gonna make my makeup last so much longer. Uh, but what I can tell is if it melts into my skin and melts all of the powders together, you know. But, you know, my Pixie Glow Mist, I swear by that. I think I am on my Cillian bottle. <laughs> I love it. And this one is sort of like that. 
but it's gonna give you a much glowier skin so if you have followed me on my like foundation reviews and so on I have put down my pixie glow mist and then in the end of the day it can be a little bit oily around my nose but that is mainly because it is a lot of oils in that product but with this one you get oily instantly all over your face and I don't mind that, but I wouldn't necessarily want to have it on if I'm going out for, I don't know, like a date or if I'm going out a lot of hours or I don't know, like for, for an everyday. I don't like to feel like my skin, I can't touch my skin and it's like not set, you know what I mean? And that is what this is doing. So if you don't like that, then I wouldn't purchase this. But if you do like that, then I would purchase this. So let's talk about some powders now that we have gotten into that. I actually have like three favorites and I will say powders to me are sort of like a new ground. I just finished up my RCMA No Color Powder. I did not talk about it in my empties video, but that is because I gave the bottle to my boyfriend because he needed something to have his protein powder in or if it was his vitamins or something, I don't know. He needed a jar of some sort and I was like, hmm, maybe this one could work. And he was like, yeah. So he kind of washed it out and then he had it. But I've had that for one year, two years or something like that. So I've been using that powder a lot, so now, New powders are like a new thing to me. Um, I don't know, but I'm kind of learning powders all over again, which is so crazy. But also keep in mind that I have normal skin, so I can usually make a powder work. Like all powders work on me, except um, if they are like too dark or, you know, just like that, or if they are a little bit too drying. So don't take my recommendation for it if you're like a powder freak. But I do want to talk about first and foremost a, an affordable product and then I'm going to talk about two that is expensive. So this is the first one and this is the Makeup Revolution in the shade Lace. This is their baking powder. You can see I have not used this much amount of product but I actually found these small containers at Kix. You're supposed to just put creams in them to have like travel, but I put them in here because I hate the jars of this. But this powder I do really like. And then the next one is the Peach Perfect Powder from Too Faced. This one smells gorgeous. But the thing is that these two are kind of similar in shade. They are a little bit peachy um, and they are kind of similar. So one day I actually tried them, not on camera, but just off camera. I wanted to see the difference of them, so I put the Makeup Revolution on right here and then the Too Faced one on right here. This one is a little bit thicker um, and this is a little bit more thinner. So usually if you're gonna bake, you're not gonna get that like super um, white powder with this one. It's gonna more lay like a thin layer versus this one where you can really like pack it on. I will also say that this one made me look a little bit smoother under my eyes but this didn't make me look bad or anything. They held up exactly the same, so I think I would continue to use this on an everyday and like this one when I wanna feel a little bit more bushy or, you know, just in general, but this is like a great value product, so just throwing it out there, both of these are great value products, by the way. This is 35 grams, this is 32 grams, and this is the Makeup Revolution one. And then the next one is also the Linda Halbar Infinity Powder. I have the shade Light. Uh, I do really, really enjoy this one. And this is a little bit more yellow tone, which I like to use under my eyes. So this one comes in three shades. You have the light one, you have the medium one, and then you have the deep one. And yeah, I have to say, I really enjoy it. it makes me matte and everything and it's a great powder. Yo, hjärtat. Du är jättesöt. So let's talk a little bit about skincare. The past couple of weeks I've gotten some questions about my skincare routine, if I can do it, but then also just because some of you guys have said that my skin looks so much better, I will say the main thing is that I've star star I've stopped picking at my skin. I wouldn't say that I've stopped completely, but I've tried to stop. So I only pick at it if I see like a little pimple. Stop picking at your skin, main thing, it's free. It's great. But then also I have really been enjoying this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Skincare or Revolution Skincare Quinoa Night Peel. Like you can see how much I've used. Like I think I'm down to here or something. But I put this on maybe every third night and it gently, very, very gently exfoliates the skin while you're sleeping, which 
is great like it's so good and then I changed back to one of my old moisturizers I have tried some moisturizers from The Ordinary that I just don't like. I'm gonna talk about one in my fails later on. And just some overall skincare products that I just don't, or moisturizers that I just don't really like. So I went back to the Body Shop uh, Oils of Life. Uh, this is the sleeping cream, so I use this at night. You can see that I kind of use this a lot. I use this for maybe two months now. I love the Body Shop's skincare. I think that it's great. This does contain alcohol, so if you are sensitive to that, I wouldn't buy this. This contains 80 milliliters, but then I am actually just gonna show you what I've used for my day. This is the Revolution Skincare Hydration Boost. And you can see that I've almost finished all of this up. I hope you can see that anyway. Like you can see, I have really gone into this. This contains 50 milliliters. So next time I order from Makeup Revolution, which is have to be like pretty soon, I am gonna order more of these just because um, I love this for an everyday because this looks to be sort of like a cream, but when you apply it to the skin, it's a gel, which is so good. I really have enjoyed that. Uh, it sinks into the skin really, really quick. So if you are on a, like not everyone can sit 10 minutes and wait for their skincare to sink into their skin. So I just dabble that on, apply it, apply my eye cream, and then I go straight in with my primer and then foundation or whatever you wanna go in with. So that's something that I've also really been enjoying. I have one foundation to talk about and this is from CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir. This, this is not my perfect foundation. I will just start off by saying that, but if you don't have the same issues that I have, then I would say that this is such a go. I think that you should check this out. This is gorgeous. This is just like, if you saw my video where I tried this one for the first time, I was just like blown away. It just lays so beautifully on the skin that I just, I can't really explain it, but it, by the way, I have the shade Ivory, but it applies to the skin beautifully it looks like skin but it's not skin obviously <laughs> it's also this beautiful sort of she it, it it just looks like skin it doesn't look dewy it doesn't look matte the coverage i would say is a medium without it looking like a foundation like this is just kind of i don't know but it's like um it's like magic in a bottle. I just really like this. And it does contain SPF 20, but here's the thing that I don't like about it. It oxidizes like a freaking nightmare. Really, really does. So I would say go down a shade if you can. And then also, it doesn't oxidize like instantly. Like when you apply it, blend it out, it oxidizes. But it oxidizes a little bit uh, over time. So for instance, when I drag it down to my neck, after an hour or so, when I'm looking, I can see like orange marks and I'm like, oh fuck, that doesn't look good. But then also, this is not sweat proof. So this just, if you are going to sweat, this will leave your skin looking so bad. So that is something I don't like about it because I sweat every single day. Oh, I'm so sorry if you think that I'm disgusting. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> then I have this Catrice highlight. Really been enjoying this one. This is limited edition Glow Patrol is this one. This is very, very unique. Um, it's sort of like this peachy pink champagne this is what it looks like you can see that i've used a bit out of this and then this is the swatch on the back of my hand it's just gorgeous and this i don't re even remember how much i paid for it but it can't be that much like it's just like maybe four euros or something like that it's just gorgeous i've been loving to use this um all the time so <laughs> Like, I, I just, oh, I love it. So I'm just gonna try and speed through some of these products. Um, so one product that I've gotten <laughs> questions about is this Pixie by Petra liquid lipstick. Someone said, do you love that liquid lipsticks? Because I literally wore it like every single day <laughs> since I got it. Yes, I do. This is the shade Prettiest Pink, but I've been rotating through this one and then the ColourPop 
the rabbit liquid lipstick this is the one i wanted to show you guys that one as well but i can't find it i looked through all my drawers and everything i can't find it maybe i have it in a purse or something i don't really know i can't find it but that one as well is so good because pixie is like it's like really expensive in Sweden. It's like high end. For instance, the Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights, you know, that I love. These are maybe $3 more affordable than the Stila ones. So these are high end, in my opinion. Pixie? No, no, no. Not drugstore. High end. Yes. So, okay, so here's the thing I wanted to purchase so many new lipsticks because I was like, I don't have any lipsticks and I need to purchase a lot of new ones. So I was going to purchase a lot from Dose of Colors, ABH, and Fenty. Then I calmed my tits and I was like, no, Paulina, don't do this. Look through your collection. And that's what I did. And I found this beautiful gloss that I used to love. Was it last year? Yeah, I think it was. This is from October Stockholm and this is just lip gloss. It doesn't have a shade, but I mean, this is gorgeous. This is like the beautiful glitteriness thingling that I just love. So I'm wearing it on my lips today. <laughs> really like it. And then this was not the lipstick I was going to talk about. Here it is. Um, this is from Buxom. Never tried anything from Buxom. The shade down here didn't really appeal to me, so I waited a bit because uh, one of you guys, guys, one of you guys actually sent this to me. So thank you so much. But I waited a bit to try it out. But then I tried it out after one of my Get Ready With Me's. I have to say, I love this um, th because it's like magnetic. So I just, yeah ruler bushy but this is the color and this is beautiful and it's sort of like this sheer beautiful summer fresh lipstick this is where it is it's sort of this sheer pigmented glossy lipstick it's gorgeous it's beautiful i want to go to stores and watch more of these but then as i said i tried to calm down a bit just because you love a certain formula doesn't mean that you have to have 20 of the lipsticks. I have this one. I love it. I'm going to see if I can find similar dupes within my collection. So, so now it's time to talk about some eyeshadows. And I have two new eyeshadow palettes and then I have a repeat one that I'm going to talk about. But this is one of them. This is Riviera from ABH. You guys saw my first impression. Three looks, one palette. And review and also comparison i think that i will continue to do maybe tutorials and reviews because you guys don't seem that interested in the through looks one palette um and the thing is that i put so much effort into to those videos and they don't get a lot of views now i'm not saying that because i'm like oh you don't watch them i'm just saying that i might not do as many or any in the future because since they are so much work, and if people just don't really enjoy them, then what's the point, you know? But maybe I could do two looks or something, I don't know. But this is a beautiful, beautiful palette, but I will say the mattes, they are nothing unique. I think that you can find similar ones, more affordable or maybe within your collection. Oh, but the shimmers has me blown away, especially this Mediterranean shade and then also Palomero. I never thought that I would love those shades ever, but I do. Like, these are just gorgeous, but I'll link my review if you have missed it. Then I also wanted to talk about the Norvina palette that I've used. I've used it on camera once, but I've used it on my days off camera a lot, but not like a zillion times. You'll see that this doesn't look that used and abused. Like you can see that this still looks pretty new. I have dibbled in to a lot of these shades and the shade Love is probably my favorite matte within this entire palette. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous, guys. This is so beautiful. And then also Wild Child is beautiful. I have yet to try Celestial on my eyes um, for like a full look, but I will do that sometime. I also really like this Couton Brown for some reason. Like it's really pretty to just take love and then take this um volatile 
in the outer corner and then just wild child on the lid been doing that so many times I've not even used soul yet <laughs> no I haven't and then the repeat palette we are still getting to know each other but I do have this on my eyes today it's not the palette you think it's the Natasha Denona gold palette I have used this and then also my palette that I did with blush tribe but I've used this palette a lot so I've used this blue this one and this one I think I took a little bit of that one as well um, but I have to say still the matte shadows does, doesn't impress me that much like I do love this blue shadow but actually it's super easy to blend it's super easy to work with but it's a cream but the matte one doesn't really impress me in that much but the shimmers are just like the star of the show if Natasha Denona came out with an all shimmer palette with all different formulas I think that I would purchase it I think that she has some of the best glitter shimmers whatever you want to call it them um I've ever tried like ever I just love them and you can see that I've used this shade the most this is I think my favorite shade within the palette but I have also used this one a lot on my off days I've really been enjoying something very very simple on my off days which yeah that's what I'm into right now so let's dibble in a little bit to my fails of the month so the day cream that I wanted to talk about is this one from the ordinary I don't like this I bought this because um, you guys know I love make me up Missa and she talks about this like all the time or she did anyway like a month ago this is the natural moisturizing factors H plus a I bought two of these because I was like, oh, it's gonna be gorgeous, it's gonna be beautiful. But it's so thick, and when I have something that is too thick on my skin, I sweat. And I know it sounds weird, but it's sort of like someone puts a layer of leather on my skin. Like, I, I don't sweat because I'm warm, I just sweat because this sort of material that puts on my skin is just not really comfortable, so... I kind of sweat through it it's it's hard to explain but if you have ever had like a leather pants or something oh if you've ever had like a like a leather pants or something you know that your skin will start to sweat um, and that is sort of like I feel with this this is too thick like I have this banana fly it's too thick so I just don't like it at all uh, I can't use this so I'm gonna give it away to my mom or something I don't really know but hopefully she'll end up liking it and then I was at a store um, in Sweden and I was just walking around checking out a little bit and they had this beautiful booth with what I want products and I was like oh let's see if they have something fun and I wanted to purchase then this one liquid catsuit but then also the really really red one but I was like you know what just purchase one and I stood there for like 15 minutes I promise you they thought that I was stealing one of the lipsticks because I was like trying to decide which one I wanted to purchase but I ended up with this one and this is the berry uh, recognize beautiful shade and the reason why I purchased this here it is up here the reason why I purchased this is because I tried the uh, liquid cat suit in one of my videos like coral corruption or something in the video like giving makeup a new chance or something hated it and so many of you were like you need to try it again you need to try it again because that shade is not good and I was like you know what I'm just gonna say that all of those liquid lipsticks from What A While are bad and I'm gonna buy a new one and see if this one is any better. No, <laughs> I hate it. You can kind of see that it applies really splotchy. It doesn't apply even. Like, I hope you can see that. And then I have this problem that it just looks like butthole lips because it doesn't wanna apply right into my lip here and then if it does it just crumbles off and then I have it all over my teeth like I look so bad so no these are a no-go for me and I'm so disappointed because I wanted to love these so much but I just don't I don't know if my video with Root Cosmetics has come up yet but I did not like the star party every time I did not like this one. This is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade She's a Star. This is like a gorgeous shade. It cracks on me and I, I have hooded eyes and I just, I don't, 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I, ugh, I can't work with that. It cracks, it doesn't look good, and it fell off, like when, you know, when trying to go in with eyeshadow on top of it and blending it, it blended off. So, no, don't recommend that one. And that one was sent to me in PR. Next up, I have the Rude Cosmetics Concealer. This one I purchased for my own money, and I just did not like this one. This is in the shade, I think I said that I had the shade Cream. Ugh. I will say, looking back at the footage when editing it, I was like, what are you talking about? It doesn't look bad, but I remember in person, it just didn't look good. It didn't really cover a lot, so maybe it's not like a total flop, it's not the worst thing ever, but it was just not something that I will continue to reach for. Maybe I'll try to use this on um, when I don't wanna use any foundation and just wanna cover a little bit or something. But other than that, no. And then the last product was the CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter. This one, you saw it. You saw it. This was so bad. This looks gorgeous. And then if you're looking close at it, I hope you can see that there are like glitters in it. When putting a brush in it and then applying it to your face, it went everywhere, like the glitter went everywhere. All over my face, did not look good, so no, I don't recommend you guys to go ahead and pick this one up. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there. Um, if I do end up having a month where I don't have a lot of favorites and disappointments and so on, then maybe I can talk about um, some other favorites. But for now, that was all for me today. Uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this little video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please feel free to thumbs the video down. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!